Hey guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, you're here to live that favorite little cute goofball diamond back again flying solo tonight. It's semi quiet in here tonight as you can hear my grandson's over here playing with his iPad. Very happy as you can please kind of kid. Um, not a whole lot to talk about. Now there's going to be people walking in here. <laughs> so anyway, this is my keto day, year one, day 26. So I've been doing this for one year and 26 days. It's been an interesting day, um, as you can see. <laughs> Had quite a little breakout. Um, again, I rarely, rarely get zits, and for them to be large and noticeable, that's interesting. My face, um, just the bottom half, just this portion here, has been oily lately. I don't really know why. And, uh, who knows? I'm covered in dots everywhere, but that has nothing to do with zits. That is mosquitoes. I've never seen them this bad, and they are hell this year. <coughs> so anyway, um, didn't get a whole hell of a lot of sleep last night. Might have averaged around about seven hours on and off. Uh, a little bit after I tried to go to bed, I heard my son's Mustang crank up. Crank up. Now, he parks his car down at my parents' house because it's easier. Cutting into our driveway, you're either going to scratch your paint or you have to cut pretty sharp. And it's an 86 Mustang. I mean, you know, <laughs> it doesn't have the best capability as far as stirring goes. But um, it scared the hell out of me because, I, I, I mean, I bolted up out of bed. Turns out he went down there to crank it because my son-in-law had went outside to take the little dog out like he just now did. And his dome light was on. So, you know, maybe he left it on. My son goes down there to turn it off and crank his car to make sure the battery's not dead. Battery's not dead. But his glove box is open, his center console is open, and somebody has been rifling through his car. Luckily, they didn't open the ashtray, which is where he was keeping his keys. <laughs> They're in the house now. Well, they will be when he gets back. Trust and believe on that. All the keys are in the house, including my truck keys, which I used to just kind of toss them with my seat. But yeah, you know, you live out in the country, you don't really think about stuff like that. And um, if I get out of my truck, it's out of my truck. I mean, it's, just, it's an old truck, you know? They ain't going to get too far because it's got a lot of ticks and tricks to it. <laughs> but the Mustang's too nice of a car. It's his dream car. He don't need to be leaving his keys in it. No way. But the fact that there was somebody in our yard last night, which is stupid, to be honest with you. As many vehicles as out there, they ought to know there is a ton of people that live here. There are a ton of dogs. At any point, somebody could be outside, you know? I mean, there is about no time that everybody is asleep. No time. Somebody's almost always awake you know I mean hell even if <laughs> it's just one of us staying up with my grandson who doesn't like to sleep at night uh, he likes to fall asleep at 5 o'clock in the morning he goes to sleep at 3 o'clock this morning but yeah that was a little scary last night a little bothersome and worrisome but what can you do except for lock up all the vehicles at night so apparently we scared the person off because there was some valuables in another vehicle out there they just didn't make it that far um, real good valuables but anyway, uh, once they told me what happened, I went outside with my gun and my dog, and we, we searched everything and checked everything out pretty good, looked around, and Jake ran around the yard kind of barking and growling for a few seconds, then decided whatever it was was gone and came on back in the house. So, um, he probably wouldn't do anything but try to make them play fetch, but we wouldn't know where they were located. <laughs> um, today, my husband went to the doctor. This is his sixth week, sixth day of keto. Yeah. So he pretty much got a clean bill of health thus far. We're still waiting on his blood test results. But his blood pressure today was 110 over 64. Uh, resting heart rate was 81. Um, his weight this morning when he got up was 162. But when the doctor checked with his full clothes, with his steel toe boots on, he was 168. And this is also later in the day. So. <laughs> His BMI body mass index was 24.11, just going by the doctor's estimate, guesstimate. So they gave us his paperwork. Uh, the doctor was kind of stunned because they did do a urine test. This is his first time to a regular doctor. I don't think he's ever had a personal care doctor ever. Um, but the doctor was like, you have ketones in your urine. I was like, oh, that's on purpose. <laughs> he's like, what? Like, yeah, we don't eat sugar. She's like, he thought it was from fasting because my husband had told him that he 
doesn't eat during the day. He doesn't like to eat breakfast. I mean, and he'll tell y'all that I don't feed him, but the truth is he doesn't like to eat in the mornings, and he doesn't like to eat when he's hot. So during the day, he's not going to eat. Also, they did discover that he is just slightly dehydrated, nothing too serious, but he does work in a big metal building with no air conditioning in peak summer heat, and it's just hot as Hades. So, the fact that he's not really dehydrated is pretty good for him. Uh, I don't know how else to read all this, but he's doing all right. They did um, do an x-ray on his back because y'all know his back's been giving him hell, and he's gotten multiple different diagnoses for that, and... They were kind of all over the place with it. The, the doctor said he can't tell from just an x-ray if there's a bull's disc. He sees scoliosis, but it's mild. It's, it's hardly noticeable and probably not an issue. Um, and he does think it may be arthritis related because two of his vertebrae in his lower back are pretty close together. Or I don't know how close they're supposed to be, but pretty close together. They're probably causing some rub, some friction, and making him feel very uncomfortable and pained. So, um... I, he called it de degenerative dis disorder or something like that. Um, anyway, one of his discs is kind of eroding. <coughs> and if I'm not mistaken, my dad actually had that in his neck um, probably about 10 years ago and had to have surgery on it. I know he said he had arthritis in his neck real bad in that surgery. I think that's for the same thing. Sorry. Diet Terry, Dr. Pepper, I don't do bulletproof coffee. I have nothing against it. I just don't like coffee at all. Ever. Yuck. The smell of coffee's nice though, but the taste, mm, I don't know how the hell y'all do that. But <laughs> to each their own, I'm not gonna nitpick. Um, I've got a couple off scale victories today I want to tell y'all about. I'm so excited about, which um, I have been noticing for a while. The larger I got anyway, I didn't like to wear jeans. I liked to wear stretchy pants because they were comfy and, and nothing was cutting into my belly and tight and irritating me. Now, I wear size 14 jeans, and I can wear my jeans skin tight all day long, and it no longer bothers me. I'm also nowhere near as hot natured, which today was a beautiful day anyway. It, it, it didn't get to 80, or I think it got to 81 later in the day, but it was a beautiful day, perfect jean weather. Come on, fall. Come on, fall, and hurry up with some winter so we can kill some mosquitoes. All right? All right. So <laughs> Sorry, the cat startled me. Um... I want to make sure I tell y'all everything. I also noticed, off scale victory, that I can bend over in the car now without having to get out, undo my seatbelt, and get out, and then lean down to get whatever I need. I can just lean straight down between my legs, pick up whatever fell, no matter how far away it is, I can reach the damn floorboard without dying, even in a pair of skin tight jeans, which I'm going to show you too. Let me go ahead and show you, because if I don't, I'll forget. Again, this is stuff for Goodwill, or well, Storehouse for Jesus, but donations. So let me show you these jeans. <laughs> and I mean, they are snug, but they got a foam on my foot. They're still not really high waisted, but not low rise either. I love these jeans, y'all. I don't know how you can see, but they have a boot zipper. I can't do it, but not standing like that but these have a boot zipper and I love them oh my god because I have boots but I don't like to wear shoes but this winter when it gets cold I can wear boots now hopefully I've always said that it kind of feels like I'm suffocating in shoes I can't stand to wear shoes but I've lost a lot of weight now so maybe I can wear the boots without feeling that suffocation thing or not being super hot I can't tell you how many times I've tried to wear shoes and wore tennis shoes out of the house and ended up stopping by Walmart and getting a $4 pair of flip-flops <laughs> because it got so hot. I couldn't stand it. Does anybody else have that? Am I the only one who thinks if you cover your feet, you will suffocate to death? I can't be. Please tell me I'm not. Um, but I, I felt like that for a long time, actually. I don't, I can't, I think seven or eight years ago is the last time I wore shoes, actual shoes, often. I did buy some pair. I did get a pair for my birthday. Wore them two, three times, bought flip-flops while I was out, chunked them in the trunk, gave them away. <laughs> oh, see. Me and my kids watched Wonder Woman last night, which is a really good movie if y'all haven't seen it yet. I also seen that on Redbox they got Rampage and the Avengers, but we saw the Avengers too, but um, Rampage, I do want to see. I haven't got to see that yet. 
Y'all know I love me some Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh, big beautiful bastard. Anyway. <laughs> See, is there anything else? Oh, um, off scale victory again. Um, me and my grandson went to Wally World after I brought my husband home. My kids had to go to school, night school. So I took my grandson with me grocery shopping. And when we got back in the car, my husband, I saw a text from him saying, don't forget to get my medicine, because they did give him medicine for his back to see if it helps any. We'll see. It's one pill a day, some kind of, I think it's meloxicam, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyway, uh, I had to, after I got all the groceries, I had already got my grandson in, I already got my seatbelt on, I had to get the grandbaby back out, go back in the store, walk all the way across Walmart, because you know he's parked on the other side, to go to the pharmacy and then get back in the car and all that good stuff. Let me tell y'all something. A year ago today? Oh, hell no. He'd have went out and got his own damn pills. Mm -mm, no. Because mm, I would have died. My chest, my heart would have just failed and been done. Um, <laughs> just going to Walmart was a struggle. I wouldn't have took my grandson a year ago because I couldn't. I mean, I, I literally felt like I was going to have an explosion or implosion or something of the heart. So, it's pretty amazing. I'm pretty happy about it. So let's, let's get to my Keto Diary today, okay? Uh, so don't forget to visit KetoDiamond.com if you want to know all about Keto in the simplest terms. Um, I've used it to lose 100 pounds. By the way, guys, you can probably ignore, um, if it says uh, channel intro, you could ignore that video coming up because all of you have watched my channel for a while. But I thought, since I've lost 100 pounds now, it's been over a year mark now, I need to do a new intro video. Not sure when I'll do it, but if you come across it, you can ignore it. Anyway. Uh, keto diary. One year, 26 days. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. August 23rd, 2018. Yesterday morning, I had three better with cheddar sausages. Uh, I had, me and hubby had a ham salad, which was uh, basically ham steak. Uh, pepperonis, ranch, and cheese is what we had, what I had for dinner. And with that, I also had uh, a peanut butter cup and some Cool Whip. These are the sugar-free um, peanut butter cups by Russell Stover. Yes, I know that not all the ingredients are not keto wonderful, but I don't tell you your ingredients. That's up to you. What you choose to put in your body is up to you. I tell you what I can eat that is keto friendly that does not kick me. Anything other than that, that's on you. You discover whether you want to put those ingredients in your body or not. Honey, what are you doing? I don't Let me help you out here. I'm not showing nothing there. <laughs> your bra was hanging out. Oh, I'll try to adjust that. I was fixing you, that's all. There's Pregnant also a mama. puppy right here that you can't see in the camera. Yeah, my big dog. You can't see him, but he, there's a big lab. Right? There we go. <laughs> and he's pretty much always right there. Um, even if you can't see him, he's probably staring at me. <laughs> my calories for yesterday were 1,545. Fat, 129 grams. Protein, 60 grams. Carbs, 25 grams. Um, blood pressure, 140 over 91. Resting heartbeat, 76. This blood pressure is amazing considering I haven't took a pill in two, two or three weeks now. And my blood pressure without my pills used to shoot up to like 220 over 160. So I'm good with this. I'm so good with this. Um, and I'm not going to take the pills again unless I get to like the 200s over 160 or some shit like that. Or you get really high up anyway just in general. Oh, that's what I consider high up. And I was alive then. They just the, the doctor just flipped out on me. Uh, I didn't feel anything, so you know. Uh, sleep last night seven hours on and off, like I told you. Vitamins I have taken. Activity I was active. I took my grandson to Walmart and went in and out. Went to Goodwill with my husband. Oh, I got some Corel plates. I love those damn things. I just got two big plates and four saucers. I don't care if they match. I just wanted the the lightweight, hard to break easy to wash plates okay <laughs> I mean the plates I got were from Dollar Tree so you know yeah but they're huge and heavy and god it annoys me I know but they're, they were Dollar Tree so I mean they were a dollar yeah but I just got two for a dollar of Corel plates because I went to Goodwill and then four saucers for a dollar so I spent two bucks anyway uh, my weight yesterday was 211 today this last night before I went to bed I told you I'm gonna start checking my nighttime weight too was 214.6 and this morning was 211.4 on and off sleep, I don't know, but again, I'm well up from my lowest weight, which was 208.4, so we'll get there, we'll get there again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, okay, pregnant mama, how pregnant are you, 22 weeks, 22 weeks to my new 
I get a new grandbaby, new grandson. Like the little demon back there, but he's four and a half, so you know. <laughs> Anything you want to say? Do we have any more names picked out? Not yet. I think we're also going to do, um, when we do her real baby shower at home, we're going to do an online baby shower. We'll show you what all she got. We'll even have a, um, like an Amazon wish list and anything she puts up. Um, there's some the link below. Really well Not of, in this video, but in the. There's something we want really bad off of Amazon. <laughs> what do you want really bad on Amazon? There's a wooden bassinet on there. A wooden bassinet. Mm -hmm. It has like the padding in it and everything still. The bassinet itself is wooden. It has a thing over it mm -hmm. that drapes down. You know, LeBron's was wooden. I thought the one oh, you're talking about a cradle. Like, like it's a it's a bassinet. It is a bassinet, but the one you're it's talking about. It's like a rocking bassinet cradle. It would be considered a cradle. Um, those are really cool. My son actually had a bassinet, which she used too. And my sister and uh, sister-in-law and all of them put it together for me. It was beautiful. But when my grandson came along, he was able to use my son's bassinet. And I thought that was so cool. Wait, Zach used the bassinet? Mm -hmm. I didn't see him ever use They it. used it for about three or four weeks and then we got that rock and play and he slept beside me all the time oh okay i don't think i just don't remember the um the rock and play was a huge wonderful thing i can't even tell you oh gosh i'm just da -da -da -da. much love to y'all i'll see you tomorrow i might do another video here in a minute but i don't know yet love y'all <laughs>